analytic functions are very well behaved. In fact, they are too well behaved. For many of our applications later on, we will need functions that are not analytic everywhere, functions containing a few singular points. Can we still form power series? Well, yes, we can if we include negative powers. You will see two examples in this video. So if f of z is not analytic in z0, uh, but it's analytic around it, we can still form power series if we contain both positive and negative powers in z minus z0. Take, for example, f of z equals e to the power minus z over z squared. Uh, and we want to form something around z0 equals 0. Well, it's problematic, of course, because you're dividing by 0. f is not even defined in z0 equals 0. So what can we do? Well, we know e to the power z, it's a standard power series, so n from 0 to infinity z to the power n over n factorial, converges everywhere. And then we can uh, form e to the power minus i z, you just get an additional factor of minus 1 to the power n, because you get minus z to the power n equals minus 1 to the power n times z to the power n, also converging everywhere. And then uh, you can multiply by 1 over z squared, because it's still in powers of z, uh, but now it means that you get uh, z to the power n times z to the power n mi times z to the power minus 2 equals z to the power n minus 2. So if you write down the first few terms, it would be 1 over z squared minus 1 over z plus 1 half, etc., uh, which converges still for z smaller than infinity, but of course you cannot get into zero. So now we again have some power series with negative powers, but now it only converges in an annulus bet uh, between zero, uh, with radius zero and infinity. So uh, let's do another example. z cubed times the cosine hyperbolic of 1 over z. Again, a problem of course in z equals 0, it's not even defined over there. Uh, but let's see whether we can form a power search and then an endless around 0. So what do we know? We know cosine hyperbolic of z uh, converging everywhere and we have a z to the power 2 and divided by 2 and factorial. So we can form the cosine hyperbolic of 1 over z, substitute 1 over z on the spot of z, then we get a z to the power minus 2n. And now, uh, if z is smaller than infinity, that means that 1 over z uh, is bigger than 0. So the, uh, now, if we plug in 1 over z instead of z, we have, need to have normal z bigger than 0. And now we can uh, form the uh, series, because f of z equals z cubed times our cosine hyperbolic, so we get z cubed times our series, uh, so uh, z cubed times z to the power minus 2n yields the z to the power minus 2n plus 3, and if you write down the first few terms, you get a z cubed plus z over 2, plus then the n equals 2 term, uh, you get uh, a z to the power minus 1 uh, over 4 factorial, so 1 over 24 times z, and you get more and more negative terms. Again, you have a power series in z, which also uh, contains negative powers, uh, but now only converging between uh, norm of z between 0 and infinity. And you can see uh, in the, the figure why right, this is called an annulus. Well, I cannot make a circle of radius infinity, of course, so I just made a big circle in the uh, figure. I cannot make a circle with radius 0, so I just made a small circle in the video. And now you see that your function is converging, uh, your power series is converging in between, so that's over here. So, uh, your power series is converging not inside a full circle, but inside some donut-like region, if you also uh, have to include those negative powers.